It's a Fish Wax Show, Episode 3. We're going to have a very interesting, serious story to talk about next. Okay, uh, here at the Fish Wax Show, we want to uh, not only reconnect with one another, mm-hmm. uh, but connect with you. Um, we want to bring back conversation. We want to make conversation cool again. But, in addition to all that, we want to bring you news. We want to inform you. We want to make you more aware of the world you live in. That's right. And, and you read the newspaper, apparently. I didn't know people still did that. I read the newspaper. Okay. I do read the newspaper. That's I a don't thing. read all of it, but I read parts of it. And, and this one particular news story just jumped out at me. It was so uh, important, I think. Oh, absolutely. Um, the, I, I couldn't. I could couldn't not share it with you. So it changed your life. It did, um, and it's going to change yours. Yeah. So if you're not already sitting, sit and prepare yourself. So with no further ado, mm. unless you have any ado. No, I don't. I, I don't know what that means. I'm a dude out. So we will read the story now. Here we go. Florida police officers in India, India Atlantic, Florida responded to at least seven calls about a man disturbing the peace on April 7th. So serious stuff. Patrons of Starbucks and Sassy Granny Smoothies, among others, were startled when 61-year-old Thomas Devaney Lane started yelling, calling himself the saint, and threatening to unleash his army of turtles on the community. You don't hear about an army of turtles. Not often. Not, Not usually. According to WKMJ, Lane went along with an officer to the police station where he screamed at the dispatcher and pounded on the walls but then left the building. He was located later at a 7-Eleven verbally assaulting customers. As officers stood by, Lane called 911 and told the dispatcher, I need to leave now or you will all be sorry you expletive with the saint. Lane was charged with disturbing the peace and other crimes. Where do you even start with that? I don't know. The one thing that jumped out to me was Sassy Granny Smoothies. Yeah. And so, Sassy, give us a call because you just got tons of free publicity, and we were glad to make you a sponsor. Yeah, we need we need sponsors, and Sassy Granny Smoothies sounds like a great sponsor. They're probably rolling in the dough, though. I can't imagine they need any help. That Who's the other place? Starbucks? Have you ever even Starbucks? heard of them? No. No. We don't want your business. We don't no. want your sponsorship. No. Okay. But and and by the way, full disclosure, this person is not related to you. Yeah, I, not this, not that I know of. No, uh, we share the same last name, but I I don't know who Thomas Devaney Lane is. He lives in Florida, so that yeah. explains part of it. I think right the, the Lane right. clan doesn't stretch that far. Well, there 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 it has it has, and I think it still still does, man. But I the think lane, it's mostly the lanes, the lanes are all over, man. Okay, they're not just up in the holler. But no. Okay. They, they, they started in the holler and then they went worldwide. We're waiting for a moment for world domination, but uh, this this particular man, I don't believe, is part of the Lane Clan. No, not my Lane Clan. <laughs> now he said he had an army of turtles, and I just wonder if he raised these on his own. Or are they or he's like a turtle talker summoner. I'm assuming it's like Aquaman, and he just he can telepathically call the turtles to do his. How, how many turtles does it take to make an army? I don't know. I'm thinking at least hundred thousand. One hundred thousand turtles could do some serious damage. <laughs> It'd be a very slow moving damage. Art, but, yeah, the article didn't 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 uh, specify, but it, this could have been snapping turtles. I'm assuming that's, that's your front line of turtles. I mean, box turtles, no. not very threatening. And and sea turtles, they wouldn't. No, they they could def- take over the sea, but this is this is on land. You need a good snap. <laughs> snapping turtle. turtles would be that's like your cavalry of, you of your army. Yes, and then like the big like uh, Galapagos. Oh. Those are like your. Bruisers, they, they just come in and trample you after the snappers get done. Mr. With Lane you. could ride on the on the Galapagos. That's just it. We've this man's a hero. We should bail him out. <laughs> he's right misunderstood, now. clearly. But he's the saint. 
He is the saint, so he has he has like a nickname, like a superhero. Yeah. The saint of the turtles. I've not heard of a saint that curses quite as much, though. Saint Lane. Well, we don't know what the word was. It says expletive. It could have been darn. I don't think it was. No. Um, I'm not an English major, but the context would require a seven-letter word there, I believe. That's very bad. We don't say words like that. Seven-letter bad word. Yeah. I don't even know a seven-letter bad word. You think about that. It's a thinker. You think about that. Obviously, yeah, misunderstood. And then seven phone calls. You would think after one phone call of a man threatening to release an army of turtles, that'd be enough to get the police. But it needed six more. Hey, this just jumped out at me. Think of all the sevens. April 7th at the 7 Eleven, seven letter bad word. I can't turn my neck anymore. Seven, did you say seven phone calls? There were seven phone calls to police. There were at least seven turtles in the army. At least. It's a lot of sevens. Coincidence? There's no such thing. Just like it's time to end this show. But not before our internet picture of the day. Don't forget, leave your comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all that fun stuff that you do on YouTube to everybody else. Do it for us. The Fishback Show. See you next time.